Hello, this is Ayivi. I hope you're in great spirits at this time and thank you for watching. An extra thank you goes to all our returning subscribers and viewers. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all our new subscribers. Thank you for making the choice to be a part of the viewership of this channel. In this video, we take a look at tiling that is currently underway on the rear terrace. In addition, we look closely at an in-wall cabinet in the master bathroom. This in-wall cabinet is a proof of concept by the aluminum fabricator. And if it passes with flying colors, all cabinets found in bathrooms on the property will be outfitted as such. So I hope you do enjoy this particular video. Stick and stay with us. So we have stubby posts. There are two of them at the edges of the terrace. And you may be wondering what, what are those stubby posts for? Well, um, one of the thoughts that came up quite a while ago while erecting this particular platform of a terrace is do we enclose the spiral set staircase? Do we actually have a building within which the spiral staircase resides? Or do we uh, build a spiral staircase as you see it right now in the open sky? And then um, later on in the future, if there's a desire, we can enclose the, the spiral staircase, make it indoors, if you will. So what those two stubby posts contain are iron rods. Iron rods we can use to erect columns that would essentially be part of the build uh, to, to enclose the entire terrace. So you can imagine, you know, um, a structure that is, you know, two stories high, uh, covered with glass you know, all around within which the uh, spiral staircase resides. That is why those two posts are there. They contain iron rods that would make the build quick and easier. So in the distance, you see a mound of dirt. Um, that mound of dirt has to be leveled out, distributed, if you will, across the, the backyard uh, prior to the rainy season. Otherwise, it's going to be it's going to harden up and going to be very difficult for us to work with um, once it hardens up. So that is a to do. Um, hopefully in the next couple of days, we should be able to to level off that mound of dirt. So, yeah, the tiling is underway. Uh, you see Ignace, uh, who is filling in joints. It's interesting because he and his boss, Raymond, um, they take turns. I think Raymond is the one who actually lays the tiles, does the cutouts, uh, you know, and then um, Ignace comes in and he does, you know, filling of the joints. He also does, um, uh, what do you call it, the skirtings. Um, so that's what I've observed in terms of their working relationship. Uh, but yeah, they work very well together. I'm pretty happy with the work that has been done so far. Let us go upstairs to the master bathroom to inspect the proof of concept. We'll be right back. On the floor is dismantled burglar proof from the landing in the stairwell. This burglar proof has been removed in anticipation of tiling of the staircase that should get underway after the terrace job. Yep, the, the tiling has to be done all the way to the edge of the building. So, so the burglar proof 
has been removed. So what you see is what the aluminum fabricator is proposing. Um, the, the door frame um, is made of aluminum. The edges of the opening to the cabinet is lined with aluminum, uh, white aluminum, I might add. The hinges are stainless steel hinges. Uh, the plan would be, if we go this route, the plan would be to apply several coats of andouille on the inside, white andouille, to, to make the wall texture very smooth and hard, right? And then we would have the glass shelves uh, in place. The handle is aluminum. Um, and then he also uses a, a magnet to um, ensure that the door to the cabinet stays shut when not open. Let's just say the jury is still out on the proof of concept. The aluminum fabricator is asking for an arm and a leg for each cabinet he works on. What we see is that the tiler and his associate have wrapped up the tiling job on the rear terrace. Here, the joints between the tiles have been filled with white cement-based grout, custom mixed on site, by the way. Um, and just like the um, other surfaces upstairs or where we have porcelain, what is apparent is the residue from cement on the surfaces. And as I've said in the past in prior videos, there will be a thorough cleaning of all the surfaces after the painting phase of the project. No, you know, I cannot be, you know, I cannot say enough about the work that the Tylers have done. They've done a very masterful job, just an awesome job all around. Yeah, and no hassle, by the way, you know, with certain, um, with certain contractors, um, it's, it's one thing after the other. This tiling team, the tiling crew, have been no hassle. It's just been, so far, so far, we're not done yet, so far, it has been just a, a pleasure working with them. More to come.
Ini waduh tuh. Hmm. Oke, okay, sinon awo do nyure. Hmm. E do do plato tan nyure. Hmm. Do plato nyure. Oke. Okay. Ah. Oh. Tetanyo waduh. Hmm. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Itu,